Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to Asian Ambitions with the infallible host, me, Solo, and Thunder God. Say hello. Hello, profligates. So, after that, this profligate uh, <laughs> had some issues with You're calling me a profligate. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I see that, you know, you're about to smash the last of the Koreans, and you're going to bring this war to hopefully a quick close, because you came kind of close to the wire. I was, like, uh, almost done uh, uh, my first tech. I'm going to pause it, but I was just about to... Uh, like storm in the Korea if you have failed. <laughs> like if your invasion got completely screwed up, I would have just stormed. I know you were. That gave me extra motivation to win. <laughs> yeah, instead I'll go like for Dynam and you know Dynam now Korea later. So let's see. I, I I'm almost there. I only need like 500 points now. My my literacy, my people are starting to open books and understand them instead of just opening it. No, and they're not. The children. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> like yeah, my my people are now like they're, they're still clinging them. rocks together in loincloths. Loincloths. Okay, that that we're not like cave people as you superior. Oh, is this the Japanese superiority complex I hear so much about? <laughs> cave people with with mediocre kung fu. These cave people are going <laughs> to make you into a colony. <laughs> <laughs> See, they oh, like Korea, they they sent the last like troops in the attacking the Kyushu Islands, like southern Kyushu. Well, they did. Yeah. That's their last holdout force. They got their navy out there and everything. They're like, this is that is even? I don't even need it. To... Uh, oh yeah, and uh, also because I know you're probably gonna forget. Um, just like moi, you're gonna want to uh take over the. I think you're probably they're gonna probably force you to take over that island in the South Korean Sea, Cheju. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I mean, I have to, I'm at fifty something percent. Yeah, you're, I think it may if they push you to that point, but um, I don't know if they will or not. Uh, Burma asked me for an alliance, so I you know accepted it. They're allied with Dynam. This is gonna be stupid for you. And Burma took over a chunk of Siam, like that was stupid. They got more opium. <laughs> oh, Burma, you, you stupid sob. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm so excited. I only need a hundred more points. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Actually, let me also fabricate a claim right now for Dino. I like the speed of which you conquer things on this game opposed to CK2. CK2, you'll be sitting there fucking siege him for three years. Well, well, yeah. It, don't even get started, cause you know, at us, uh, um, like late in the game, you can't even assault uh, castles. In CK two, that's yeah. news to me. Yeah, yeah, it's like real late. Once you get to like, I think I can't remember what fourth level it was, but yeah, you won't, you can't like assault after a certain point. Why is that? Uh, it basically it's just the game saying that. Uh, <laughs> like castles are too advanced for us so is it like you can't do it at all or is it like you just have to get to a certain strength uh, it, it's like you'll be able to do the castles of like a lower level but you can't do it to like I think level 6 or higher if I remember correctly I might be you know getting it wrong with some of the numbers hmm uh, okay, so it looks like I'm gonna hit some guys down here to make this war pretty quick. Alright, uh, let me also boost this up, because I'm about to get, it's about to be live, we're about to be live show. Burma is gonna probably join in, oh, 11 infamy for that, okay. That's a nice trade-off. Alright, all my 
my troops should be getting ready. And then maybe after this one, I think um, if I don't go after any of these other miners down here, I may just go after Punjab. Mm -hmm. They're allied with Persia. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> the war between Ottoman and Egypt. Two Sicilies. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, I'm missing a couple conflicts. Uh, oh, two Sicilies. I think they probably broke free from France's sphere and they're trying to get them back. And Ottomans are attacking Aus um, Egypt. And I got two more months to wait before this war kicks off. And Yunnan is causing me to lose a shit ton of troops to attrition. Thank you, Yunnan. It's always useful. Yeah, you guys just hang out over here. Fucking surrender, Korea. What is wrong with you? Yeah, they like for usual annexation, they like countries usually like to fight to the bitter end. Yeah. Kind of makes sense uh, if you think about it. It's annoying as all hell because it's like one of those things where, like, you know, you're just delaying the inevitable at a certain point. All right, I am about to declare my war against Dinah. And this is going to go off. Wow, I get plus 25% speed at the end of the fucking thing. Thank you for nothing. All right. And oh, I'm already at 98%. Oh, wait. Uh, you don't have to take that thing. You may have gotten a call to join. You don't have to take it. Like I said, I'm already at like 98% of the, my war score. 99%. <laughs> yeah, I went past the thing. What do I do? Just click um, add war goal or do I just propose peace? Propose peace. You just uh, like... Um, annexing though. Annex Korea. We Rejected our generous offer of peace. Fine. It probably, oh. yeah, now you. just offered me some peace. Yeah, because they just went you to the country. Right. I actually don't even know why the hell I have troops down here where my satellites. Uh, could handle this on their own, which they clearly are doing. <laughs> okay, Korea is mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. I forgot about that useful feature. Since game is no longer in sync. Uh oh. Uh, I guess you we got desync um in the thing. What does that mean? That means I have to restart this. Let me pause this recording, and we will be back shortly. <laughs> hey guys, we're back. <laughs> We had that little fucking technical issue, but you know, we're gonna keep it at speed two for right now while this war is going on because I think that annexation of Korea probably screwed everything up uh, player sync wise. So we'll just do this real quick and hopefully we won't have that issue, especially if we keep this game at a nice steady smooth pace. Um, besides, I'm not really in a much of a rush seeing as how my fucking sub states are. Swallowing up uh, Vietnam and Burma abandoned them. That's always good to see. <laughs> so now you inherited Korea mm -hmm. <laughs> temporarily. Oh, yes, but you inherited Korea. That nice border. All right. My <laughs> own ass whooping. Uh, that's oh, weird. that's Tibet. It okay. says I have like 8,600 points, but none of my things are highlighted. It's not telling me the amount that I need for some reason. Uh, oh, I have to wait. Yeah, I have to wait a while. I forgot. All right, we're just moving down the Korean coast. Or, to, excuse my French, the <laughs> Vietnamese coast. <laughs> Yeah, Korea's army, I mean, Vietnam, shit, I'm getting so, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, their army's just getting demolished right now. Oops, I accidentally tapped out screen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, 
Let me see. This one should give me a nice little chunk of research points, at the very least. Could go for another military reform. I wonder what is this? What, what's the modifier? Literacy? Upper house support? Oh, yeah, I think I have to be probably more liberal. So let's see. Alright, so when everything's all said and done, I mean, you'll, you'll be westernized probably in eight, like mid-1850s at the latest uh, for you, because Korea should have given you a big chunk. Um, me, I am probably looking at late 1850s, probably to westernizing at the earliest. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I, I only played as China once for like a little silly, uh, chitty chitty bang bang, uh, playthrough. Oh, yeah, and let's also ally each other, I guess, just so we can, like, look at what each other is doing. Misa, okay. not ashamed. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the alliance, man, pretty much Dynam is dead. It's just, we're, right now, we're in the process of burying the body. <laughs> Hey, quick question. So, to so just what when you have an army built and like you're not doing anything with them, mm -hmm. what can you really do? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they're mostly just stand around. Uh, besides that, you could put them on like hunt rebels or something, uh, in case any like rebels pop up, they can go and deal with them. But I mean, like, because they're just kind of just sitting there taking. You know, they're just dying. Oh, uh, it's probably you gotta spread them out, like because right now in this ver like early in the game, you probably don't have like enough uh, supplies to keep them supported in some provinces. So just like split them in half and then kind of like separate them into like provinces that don't have like tree. I mean, like forests, hills, or mountains, especially mountains. What I was gonna do, I was wondering. Uh... Actually, uh, was wondering, um, will railroads help that out? Yeah, that helps boost the uh, supply limit. But I mean, I'm about to research. That's going to be the next thing I research: railroads. And with that being said, though, I have to actually build the railroads after I research it. I can't just. Yeah, you have to build them. Uh, Usually, I would just say you could just like capitalists build it, but um, we're not going to have any like significant pa capitalists in our countries for like a little bit. Especially, you're not going to see any major capitalists until you westernize. Mm. Okay. And I forgot, I got to uh, wait till I get some more diplomacy points. I wish I could just add the war goal to annex these guys, but that would make me get destroyed. <laughs> oh my god, build my ships. What are you doing? I still have <laughs> those two clipper transports. Yeah, I think it's probably because of all the wars that were going on, especially with France and them. They probably like bought up some clippers. So I think the only nation in the world that has clippers, at least in the beginning, is like Britain. Uh... Mm. It sucks because I am on the ocean on the yeah. island, so I need it. Well, actually, the number one producer now is fucking Russia. <laughs> Air UK is second. How is Russia, like, all right, did they just build factories out the ass? Is that probably why? Order, could you, you can't buy, like, uh, like I wouldn't be able to buy any boats from um, Russia, could I? Oh, you are? It's just that you gotta wait until they, like, on the market until, like, whatever's left is sent all the way down the line. 
So you guys just wait, like wait it out. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, this war, it's virtually wrapping up. I'm gonna move my men uh, away from the border down here. Ew, like, I have all these guys, and they're taking so much attrition. I don't even need to be down here. I, I really didn't even need to send any men over here in all honesty. <laughs> like, I forgot I could take control of the sub-states and move them myself. Alright, so they're going to go back up there. And, yep. There goes all their resistance. Humiliate and then you get five percent. Nah, that's not even worth it. So once the rest of Vietnam and Cambodia have been taken over, this war is gonna wrap up. I think there's only like actually just two more provinces that need to be captured. And... And my budget is just like. Okay. You could probably cut back on military spending, like the uh, army maintenance, I should say, because you're not at war. The military spending? The army maintenance, the one at the top. Oh. All of them, or just... Uh, just the army one. The one at the very top. Okay. Do -do -do. And... Come on. They're at 99%, and they're still not willing to surrender. Just delaying the inevitable, you know, there you go. There, annex them. Now, what should I research? Cause I'm gonna have to let my infra be cooled down a bit. I am going to boost, should I do railroads or? This one, I'm gonna do reform education. All right, so there's that. That's done, and I decided to like do the education reform so I could get faster literacy, and which will help my um, points out overall. Okay, I have. I'm I'm at fifty percent. All right, so two Sicilies is back under French influence. While that's going on, I'm just going to build an army to park down in Vietnam, actually. I was getting to Vietnam. Huh? Huh? You said you were going to get Vietnam. <laughs> I was heading down there. Well, looks like you have to turn around, good sir. <laughs> I mean, the Philippines is like, you know, nice and open this time of year. Hey, even Australia. Oh jeez, this is like, can you imagine when, like, if, I know for a fact that you are probably going to declare war on me once you get, like, decently, like, you have a huge head start with your westernization. I know for a fact you will declare war on me once you get enough guns and shit. <laughs> I'm not a prick, like some people. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll accept it, because I'm up for the challenge. I... I am willing to sacrifice every Chinese life just to destroy one Japanese army. Oh, I know you are. I know you are. Hey, I'm trying to see who should be my next target. I kind of want to do Punjab, but I'm kind of waiting for my FB to take down a little bit more because, like, holy shit, I gotta wait like 10 years. I mean, if I do two, well, For my <laughs> team, it's going to take fucking forever. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you're at 15. Um, yeah, it's going to take you about 15 years. Uh, me, it's going to take 10. Basically, like, you know, excuse the fucking phrasing, but like my next great leap forward is going to be probably punch up. <laughs> <laughs> My great leap forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Let's see. Right now, like, the... this is going to be interesting. Are they? What were you saying? I said, where is... um? Where are the Philippines? Uh, See that yellow blotch uh, south of me? That island chain? It's kind of south of Taiwan. Tainan? Yeah, that's what it's called here. It's like south of that. Vigan? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, all of that, that island chain, that's all the Philippines. All owned by Spain, though. Look yeah. at the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, yeah, if you're, like, you know, Spain right now, they are in, uh, not give wow. a fuck face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could back, you want to back me up? I mean, sure. I, I don't have any votes, but, yeah, I'll help you <laughs> with moral support. You want the war? I'll say, I'll be like, yo, Japan. Woo, enthusiastic Japan. <laughs> enthusiastic Japan party. Woo. <laughs> You are literally the worst ally. <laughs> All right, how are you guys doing? Oh, did you guys build up yet? Almost. Right, let me get some cavalry with you. That should be good enough. Man, let me also cut back on military spending. At least right now. Uh, where's my militancy at? Uh, militancy is actually going down. Yeah, my militancy is going down. Okay. Right now, I'm trying to see what should be my next uh, major reform. Mm, it's like, I kind of want to do military because it'll help boost this thing a lot faster. I'm probably going to go for maybe imported weapons next. If you go with the economics type of stuff, it gets you there a lot quicker. Yeah, but they cost like a shit ton more. It's like they give you like huge it's it. bonus, but it's like a longer time. So a quick question. When you, um, let's say you weren't to do any of the weapons, right? Mm -hmm. You literally did everything in the economic side. Once you westernize, you get all that stuff anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, you would still have to research like the, uh, base levels like they're all these things from reform they're the level one text of each of the trees like tech trees oh okay. so you would still have to like research it uh it's just the back thing is also it's one of those things where yeah the economics help out a lot like building your nation it's just that the military is the stuff that helps um helps jump start it if you wanted like just a quick way to westernize Hmm. Let me see. I want to see how many more points do I need for the imported weapons if I wanted to do that one. 85. Let me see. That's still... Yeah, that's generally the same amount. And But I'll just get that bonus from it. I think I'll probably just stick with the military one right now. Probably I'll just let my infamy tick down a little bit and then gamble with another um war my thing will be is if it takes up any higher then that will screw me over it because <laughs> i'll get put in a containment war faster than i can fucking blink uh, i'm gonna kick it up to speed three i think we should be able to handle this since we're not at wars hmm So, uh, what's your uh, civilization progress bar at? Uh, 50. 50. Actually, I, I don't even need to ask it. I think I could just see it off of this. Yeah, you're at 50%. I'm at 25%. <laughs> Uh-oh. The way you cry about it, I thought you'd be, like, at 2%. Yeah, I, I think it's because, like, I, I took the first reform. I managed to do two. Uh, I took the first military reform, then I took over Dynam, and that gave me enough points to boost my education. Uh, do that boost to education reform. 
<laughs> We're at 6.7% literacy. Yay. I know, I'm still playing the great power game of like trying to be, just, just trying to say, oh, hey, North German Federation exists. Yeet. Who knows, this will be wacky if like Germany does form on this game. Well, that means we have to take them down together. Uh, well, I, I don't know about together. <laughs> yeah, probably it's like already. Germany. Germany is just like a little kawaii nation in the central of Europe. It's, it's just going to mind its own business and it's going to be like, hola, como estas? And next thing you know, it's going to declare one, everyone. Guten Tag. No, it is hola, como estas? I don't, under I don't understand. Why Why were they speaking? Because Spanish. That's all you need to know. I would say you were trying to press impress Jose, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. If I would be able to drag him into CK2. I don't know. You know yeah. how he is. I, I honestly want us to do like all three of us do uh, that uh, like a CK2 series together. But you know, hell, he I don't think he's gonna. Do it. He's not emotionally ready yet. <laughs> no. I feel like he'll lose it. But fuck this game! Fuck it! He starts <laughs> beating out of his computer or the <laughs> Alright, let me send these guys down to be enough. Okie dokie, so. I think right now we're all smooth sailing, well, for the most part. Um. If you had a choice, who would you like decide to invade next? Let's see. You, you still thinking for that Philippines idea? Maybe after I westernize that now. Russia is a, a war, second war with Koken. Good Lord, Russia, leave them alone. Not the Kiva or Bukhara, or at least. Uh, I was about to say cooking. <laughs> oh, criminy. I. How about that? Promote more clergy. Liberation movement. You have a Korean liberation movement? I mean, it says I can suppress it. Speaking of liberation movement, I okay. can't. I, I, it upsets me in this game that you can't just get rid of shit. Like rebels. I, I can like yeah, I can like slit the leader's throat in the middle of the night. Yeah, if only if it was like CK two where you could do that. But anyway, the Russia like rebels and like us things they're annoying because like they're you're the same tech level kind of. Well, since you have infantry now, you're still you're better off than them. But in like mid game, they're just annoyances like. It's just yeah. something you have to just deal with. Besides, you don't even have to deal with it. Just sit a couple armies up on um, Hunt Rebels and, you know, they'll just get squashed. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I like about this. Like, Victoria 2 has that um, their other games don't have. It's simply just that Hunt Rebels button. It, it makes it so much easier. Though I also wish in this game they had something that EU4 had, which is like you can set your navy up on missions such as to hunt the enemy fleet. It's stupid non-overlaps from these games that should exist, but they are, I don't know why they don't implement them. Alright, so I am halfway to another military um, shindig. And I think I am, I'm probably going to go probably for Punjab or Afghanistan. I, I don't want to go for Punjab maybe just yet. Uh, let me see. I probably have to get military access through Afghanistan because I don't think I can cross. Um, I think this is like the Himalayas. I can't cross the Himalayas except there's one corridor in Afghanistan.
Wow, North German Federation is second strongest nation. I mean, well, the second highest great power. Holy crap. That's... That is different. <laughs> oh, and there goes the alarm of dreams. All right. You think you want to wrap it up right here? Yeah, we can. All right, guys. So, yeah, we're going to call it a uh, night right here. So... I hope you guys start like, you know, <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. Hit that bell for notifications to keep up with any new uploads. And until the next time when we are conquering the rest of Asia yep. amongst ourselves and, you know, backstabbing one another, we shall see yep. you soon. <laughs> subscribe to my imaginary channel. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 I guess we'll end it off with that. Now this one is pure niceness.